Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPath. In this video, we will be learning about a web technology mechanism called cross-origin resource sharing. Cross-origin resource sharing or CORS for short is an HTTP header based mechanism originating from a server. The server indicates that other domains, schemes or ports other than its own should permit resource loading. A web page freely embed cross-origin images, style sheets, scripts, iframes and videos. Let us learn more about CORS in this video. But before that, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Alright, now let us take a look at the agenda for this video. Firstly, I'll be introducing the concept of cores. Next, I'll move on to the need for cores, the reason why cores came into existence. It is basically a mechanism. And next, I'll move on to the topic, how does cores work? We have four steps uh, in how cores works. I'll be explaining each one of them in this section. And later, I'll be taking up an example of the use case of course, that is where it is used in the real world. And finally, we'll be taking a look at the conclusion of this video. Now that we are clear with the agenda, let us move on to the first topic, introduction. Cross-origin resource sharing, which is an acronym for course. It is a mechanism that allows restricted resources on the web page to be requested from another domain outside the domain from which the first resource was served. So in simple terms, let's say a client from a web browser makes a request to a, a domain that is basically a server. And this first domain is called as domain x.com. And let's say we have another domain called domain y.com. And the web page you are requesting has some image which is not present in domain x.com it is actually present in domain y.com so how do you get this image so uh, you make a request to domain x.com and in turn it gives you the web page but without the image because the image is present in domain y.com and then you make a request again to another domain which is domain y.com and if that clears if the security checks are clear uh, then you will be allowed access to the image uh, file that is present in the domain y.com and basically after all these steps uh, that is all the four steps you will get the web page as well as the image embedded on it now let us see an alternative definition in other words course is a security mechanism employed by browsers like uh, let's say firefox chrome internet explorer etc to prevent the browsers from making calls to another website. A request for a resource like an image or a font etc. outside of the origin is known as a cross origin request. Cors is specification, it is basically a specification that manages cross origin requests. Now let us take a look at the base level explanation that is a naive explanation for it. It is like the security guard that prevents a malicious person from entering your premises until they process certain authorization or an ID card, let's say, and hence keeps your family safe. I hope that by this time you guys would have had a, some rough idea of what cause is. Now to make things more clear, let us move on to the next topic, which is need for cause. To prevent websites from tampering with one another, web browsers implement a security measure known as same origin policy. Now what is the same origin policy? This policy lets uh, resources such as JavaScript uh, interact with other resources from the same domain, but not with resources from different domains. So this is by default. Uh, the security measures by default is that uh, resources like JavaScript can interact with uh, resources from the same domain and not with different domains. This provides security for the user by preventing abuse such as running a script that uh, reads the password field on the secure website. So basically this uh, security measure is taken to avoid cross-site scripting or XSS. In cases where cross-domain scripting is desired, cross-origin resource sharing or CORS allows web developers to work around the same origin policy. CORS adds HTTP headers that instruct web browsers 
on how to use and manage cross domain content the browser then allows or denies access to the content based on its security configuration that is if the http header has no, has the course content it is uh, allowed inside the domain if not it is not allowed just like the security guard uh, has his uh, authentication or id card with him an http header should have a course content uh, attached to it so if it has that the domain will allow your course uh, request now let us move on to how does course work when a browser executes a script that refers a resource on another domain it requests the content directly from the second domain the second domain determines whether or not to serve the content by validating the first domain which is included as part of the request that is the request coming into the second domain will already have the request of the first domain attached to it the second domain then returns either the content or an error message back to the browser bypassing the first domain entirely that is after the second domain uh, it acquires the request from the uh, client uh, this request will obviously have the uh, request from the first domain attached to it and it will uh, see if the course uh, security is uh, correct or not if everything looks good it will serve the request bypassing the first server or it will give you an error message or it will be blocked as shown in the figure now let us take a look at the step by step process of how course works step 1 a user opens a resource on a page that references another domain this is usually a java script uh, file but can handle web fonts and css resources as well and then the second step is uh, the user's browser creates a connection to the second domain adding an origin http header to the request which contains the first domain now we'll move on to the third step the second domain replies with an access control origin http header which lists the domains allowed to make the course requests the while card or also asterisk allows all domains to make requests now the fourth step if the first domain is allowed to make the request the second domain responds with the requested content so this is how course works the access control allow origin header now let us see what this means it is defined in the second domain server configuration that is it will be present in the second domain if the header doesn't contain wild cards and the first domain isn't explicitly included the browser displays an error message that is if the course header is not present in the request of the second domain uh, it will display an error message so the first domain and the second domain should be configured properly for it to share uh, resources now we'll move on to an example of course usage uh, that is where it is used in the real world we'll take one example course is an essential feature of online storage services such as amazon s3 so uh, amazon is a web service provider it is the number one web service provider in the world right now and it provides a storage service called s3 s3 is pretty popular uh, it is store it is used to store any object objects such as images text files or uh, video files etc any objects can be stored in amazon s3 service providers configure s3 to allow course requests from their website's domain when a user accesses the website and runs the script the browser makes a request to s3 since s3 is configured to allow the domain that is once you create the amazon s3 buckets you need to configure it to be able to accept course requests and if that is done everything goes well and the request is completed and the content is delivered to the browser so amazon s3 provides a uh, course uh, capabilities as well in their s3 service more complicated cross domain requests use pre flighting to validate a request before the request is actually performed pre flighted requests include custom http headers which help the server determine whether or not a request is valid pre flighted requests help service providers better protect sensitive information from users who might abuse the course requests now that we have seen what uh, course 
uh, is used in real life. Let us move on to the last topic that is the conclusion part of this video. Hackers are always looking for ways to undermine the security of the web. To this day, cross-site scripting or XSS is one of the most popular ways of bypassing the same origin policy and it accounted for 84% of all security vulnerabilities not long ago. The great thing about Cors is that it gives web services the freedom to interconnect with other web services without making their users vulnerable to attacks. That's it from my side guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Just a quick info guys. Intellipad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.